Hello and welcome. Silver is here with Conan Exiles. It's a brand new day with a lovely weather and a dancer. Anyway, I have just drank me a yellow lotus potion because I have just hit level 40 and I have spent my respent my knowledge points mostly level 40 because level 40 gives me Kimmerian battle axe, which I have just made one of. And soon enough, we can get things like ancient two handed sword. So I have in the Kimmerian battle axe now. However, however, let's spend uh, these points because um, I had an idea. I was thinking on things while I was, while I was well, well, before I started recording. Because thinking is dangerous, don't do that. Anyway, um, this thing here, careful harvest. I am really curious. Like, the first uh, first thing which popped to my mind when I looked at this was uh, gold out of obsidian. However, there are a couple more common things which uh, that could benefit from. And I want to find out. One of them is volatile glands. Because these are, these are good for demon fire orbs. And the other one is good for... Yeah, well, I can show it from here. Resin. Out of, out of wood while, while getting bark. So I'm curious. Let's um, let's mess around with that. Let's find out if that is actually as good as I. It's like to gather rare resources when harvesting. Let's find out. I will. I will find out. Uh, the other thing I kind of want is a passive health regeneration when not engaged in combat. So, um, I was looking at this, and this obviously is pretty good. Uh, when fighting, let's say, bosses. I don't know if this damage here... Well, Provost, when you deal damage in combat, does this include bleeding damage from daggers? Because then that would be really good against, uh, like, boss fights and whatnot. However, getting your follower to uh, max health, to, to full health, between combats, that seems like a pretty good de decent deal as well. So let's grab that. Let's try, let's try it out. Let's try that out. And also, now as I have... Uh, now as I have a... Well... An axe and a shield. I think I'm going to not do any grab, and I'm instead going to grab the... Then vital because I really want that faster, fast healing, because that is really good. And I think I'm going to try this. Equipped armor weighs 25% less. Because I am thinking, pretty soon here, I want to get myself into a heavy armor, and then that could be really useful at that point. All right. So if you look at look at my stuff, I am equipped uh, to get one more thrall here. How long? How long are this? Is this for you folks? Okay, this is a few hours still until these guys are done. But my tier three dancer is out of there, so I have the dancer here where my Eventually, my throne will be. So let's go uh, find somebody else to stick in there. So fill, fill that. Well, let's start with that. And after after that, we will do some we will do some combat. We'll do some actual like proper combat. I think we are going to start. I don't want to run through there because there are rock noses there, and I don't want to fight those. Um, uh, the other combat we want to do for one. I want to get the, 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 what the heck, what, what's that called? Uh, the couple other religions which are nearby. Mecca Moses Spire, like here, and then Mitra from here. Uh, the Spire has a, uh, the, 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 Set. Religion of Set Terrainer on the Spire there. So we will, we will go find that guy. I want to, I want to check this particular, uh, base first. Because it was, last time it was really good for me. Two tier fours out of that camp last time. Holy moly. I, I, I bet it isn't as, as, as good now. Won't be as lucky twice, huh? Alright, let's eat something and a drink. Okay, where are you? You an archer? You an archer? Are you a carpenter three? I think you might be what I'm looking for. 
because you are a th you are at least a number three instead of some random tier one. Dang it! Oh, I dodged it. Here, have a have a crunch into the back of the head. Thank you. What? What are you on about? I mean, how you know armor and stuff? If you just stand there, I will knock you out. Thank you. Right, so, let's whack this thing with the... Oh, you would have dropped me a high in a helmet, huh? Okay. There we go. Also, yeah, give me, give me human flesh. To feed it to my... Hyenas. All right. So I, I got a carpenter three out of there. So that's a that's a decent decent enough find. I can live with that. The other possibility was to go and get another Thagara. <laughs> I guess that would have been amazing. Another another Thagara. I don't think so though. However, uh, because I kind of plan to hit level fifty here kind of soon. At least I I will try to because I am level forty already. So, once I hit level 50, well, that's when I get Greater Wheel of Pain. So with Greater Wheel of Pain, then I will be able to get 8 people there, and I can I can always go and get a, get one more Thagra. <laughs> I want an army of Thagras following me around. That seems, that seems like fun. That seems like fun. Okay. I need brimstone. I'm running out. Really badly running out. I think that that's a, one of the goals for the day. Get brimstone. All right. Now this guy is here. I'm also running rapidly out of out of stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, this thing required my wines. Well, I have an excess amount of wines than what I need, but whatever. Let's see, what was it? This thing. What does this do? It gives me bread. Alright, fine. That will, uh, that will work. Um, work here, you are still making stuff for me. That's good. That's good. Leave this here. And now we can equal gear up and go hunt other stuff. Huh? Yeah, I've, I've finally made box for... Stuff I am I am slowly preparing for. All right, so leave these things back here. And hmm, what do I need? Maybe I should carry, for example, the Darketos case with me for now, or the Yog Cleaver, one or the other. And um, and 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 and. I don't really need that much else, huh? In all honesty. Look at this. So, I'm curious. Does that actually give me bread? Huh. Yeah, it seriously it gives me bread. Okay. Fine. I should probably uh, try and hunt a bunch of elixir of freedoms instead of bread then. <laughs> okay. Well, now I have bread. Right, so which one of you wants to come with me today? You, you have been with me before. So come with me. Come with me. Um, now I needed, I needed, needed uh, this skinning knife with me. Not that. The steel skinning knife. Skinning, skinning knife. Steel skinning knife. Yeah, I'm carrying all the extra tools for now because they whatever. And we will we will grab food for the hyena. Here, have food. We can we can we can go sort out some bad guys now. You know what? Switch those around. Because we will hunt hyenas, a, a, a whole lot of hyenas. Another thing I want to do is I want to fill the animal pen I have up there uh, with, with, you know, new things. Hmm. 
we might be able to grab a few things which we can stick there maybe well i would only like to you you know uh, put in um just one type of animal right so I, on, I only need to have food for one type of animal to have the increased chance to grow that kind of an animal out, right? Okay, so let's go let's go visit the spire of Mecca Masters and slaughter some hyenas along on the way. We don't need these yet. Don't need those yet. Ooh, what we could do. We could. We could maybe visit the Mitra Shrine first. Come to think of it. And hunt some. Yes, let's do that. Let's hunt some rhinos. Or a thick leather, so we can try the whole heavy armor thing out. armor now the big question after that is which heavy armor <laughs> there is also the possibility yeah 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 the, the big question is always which heavy armor you can also al always just do medium armor for now as well there's a bunch of good medium armors I unlocked the uh, Raider armors as well, so I, I want to see what are the stat bonuses on those. All of them used to give accuracy, so are they all agility weapon damage now? Stygian Raider, um, what, what was the other? Shemite Raider armor, which was the silk, silk uh, turbans and stuff. Stygian Raider armor, which which looks kind of kind of awesome. And the Savage Armors have this Hyperborean Slaver outfit, which looks pretty good when you are standing still, but when you are running around the, the, the butt flap, the loincloth of it, uh, that just always glitches into the character model and looks kind of hideous. <laughs> but other than that, it looks awesome. Looks awesome other than that. Right. Now let's see if... Um, I need cheating for the Stygian Raider outfit. We can get cheating easily enough by hunting some of some of these scuttler little things here. That's easy cheating. Okay, let's do that. Let's hunt these. Ooh, there's a big, big, big snake as well. Bring it. Bring it. Damn, it killed Titan one. What the? Okay. I did not expect it to die in one head. Um Okay, can you can you like move? Beside, thank you. Oh, re reptile hide. Right. You got cheating out of something here. Probably scorpions then. Go and attack it. Go kill that then as well. I'll take the reptile hide because we can we can turn that into Okay, so I'm guessing my dog doesn't wanna actually attack anything. Okay. You should die to the blade. And I will probably die to the poison, huh? Okay. Thankfully I have the 50% increase in, in... Yeah. I don't know what is up with you, but you are definitely not attacking anything. Alright, so I'm guessing you're like glitching out. I will leave you here for just a second. Let's pick you back up. Demon blood. There we go. That's a good find. That is a good find. 
The big snake actually went down surprisingly fast. Now, of course, the poison is really dangerous still, but hold on. Is the big dragon around or is it just not loading in? No, I, I'm not fighting the big dragon yet. I could possibly try if I had daggers. But, okay, it's it's there. It's just not loaded in. Okay. I was wondering for a moment. I have lots of venom clams. That's kind of nifty. But reptile, reptile has... Can you, can you attack anything? Or are you bugged out? Yes, it's kind of sucks if you're bugged out and can't attack anything. Can you attack that? Apparently the answer is no. Who are you then? I'm gonna take you home for if you... Ugh. Alright. How about I change your behavior? Oh, this is why I hate... This is why I hate, hate these things. Oh, right. I can't actually do that. Because otherwise, it will <laughs> attack the damn priest I'm going to want to talk to. God <sighs> dang it. Right. Blessings of Mitra upon you, Pilgrim. There we go. We have Acolyte of Mitra. And then let's go up there and find the cooking recipe. What's up here, right? Yes. Um, there we go. Visualist cooking seven. What did it actually have? It's where it is somewhere. Visualist cooking seven. Chili desert style. Yellow lotus soup and, and a couple of other things. All right. Fine. Now, yeah. okay. And we are stuck. Move that way, thank you. So I'm guessing I'm not attacking. Uh, I'm not going to try and beat on anything because you are bugged out. Where are all the hostiles? Oh, I know I'm seeing the crocodiles. Like, what is up with you and being bugged? That's a, that's kind of annoying. More than a little annoying, actually. I kind of do want to find something which gives me more chitin before I go home. There's a scorpion. Let's go find a couple of... Oh, we can talk to the Midnight Alchemist guy. He will have scorpions around him. Missed me. Yeah, yeah, screw you. Got damn buggy hyenas. Guess I will have to use the other hyena then. And hope that it's not bugged out. Oh, there's another scorpion. Well, we can, we can, we can just slaughter random things here in the desert. Okay, good. Okay. Attack the doggy. That's its purpose right now. Doesn't do anything else anyway. Yeah, let's go talk to Midnight Alchemist, dude. Get get Midnight Alchemist as well, and, and, you know, not like I plan to use it anytime soon, but there is certainly going to be a few scorpions around. Including a big one, if we wanna... Do we wanna tackle the big one? Maybe not, because I really don't wanna die. Yeah, there's a snake there as well. Okay, I don't wanna die to the poison. Of two poisonous creatures at once, so let's avoid it. But yeah, there's a few scorpions around here. Yeah. Kill this thing. You didn't poison me. Okay, that's surprising. Okay, now I have a good amount of chitin. 
probably have enough shit in now, actually. I forgot what I really came here for, though. Oh, there's one more scorpion. Alright, awesome. Now, let's see. Do you attack anything? No, you don't. You just stand there and look dumb. And get leveled up. Damn, leeching my XP and everything. Like, Come. Bye. Come to me. You have nothing to fear of me. Now I have Midnight Alchemist. Let's check the chests as well, outside of this lovely door which you cannot get through. Hello? Hey, is somebody out there? Nice place. Hey, out there. Oh, help! Hey, get us out of here! Help! Listen, listen! Uh, we're, we're on the other side of the door. We, we're kind of in a pickle. Could use your help. Think there's some levers out there? A good chance one of them will, will open the door and we'll be... Could you How about I leave you a defective hyena and you can, you can keep yelling at the hyena. Jeez, man, that that's a that's a ever so slightly annoying. Right, so I'm gonna cut the cut this travel home out of here because I'm I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna leave this hyena home and and take the other hyena out with me and see if that one actually functions. This one is this one is apparently a defective product now. Okay, kill one more of these things on the way, huh? And then then be home. Yeah, there we go. Right. Here we are, on the road again. Can you call this a road? I suppose you can call it a road, it's going that way. And I have, hopefully, the non-defective version of this hyena with me. I guess we will find out. Let's, um... This one seems to work. Okay, this one seems to work. We can do stuff. With the eye, you know. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Right. I gave it food. Uh, how about you carry all of this with me? Oh, speaking of food. Um, I think this is new. Because I finally remembered to bake some purified flesh. But I don't remember... Uh, it's showing what stats you get for it. And I think these lasted like, what, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. I guess we will find out. I guess we will find out. So now I have a, have a hyena that works. <laughs> uh. Right. Want a few more animal companions just to, just to give them a real try. But I mean, if they, if they break like that, then I definitely don't want any of them. Let's slaughter another one of these. Hey. Now we are going to kill a whole lot of your... your kind. Or leather and stuff, you know? Mostly leather so I can get tar. We can we can make a lot more steel fire. That looks like the boss high, you know. You know it isn't. It's just these regular hyenas in different colors, isn't it? It just looks like the boss hyena. Whoa, okay. Hi there. Okay, the, the hyena does actually a really good amount of damage. Damn. Level us up. Well, levels up really nicely fast as well. Ooh. Oh. Again. Goddamn pop up thing, which I cannot turn off. This allow me to me to have the option to turn it off. So I do not care. Enough talking I'll talk about that then. Um you carry all of this for me. 
Ew. We could go that way and actually find some uh, find some rhinos to fight. That could work. That could work indeed. Maybe find some tiger cubs. Right? Maybe we will do that. I think I left my Terracatos knife back home. Not, not to fight, fight any of those humans there. Anyway, I'm here for this. This this is the Orion right now. I'm here for this. Hi there. Teach me your ways. No closer, exile. Lest I blast your feeble skin from your bones. <laughs> I am Mechamosis of the Black Raven. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what he, what are your he or rather his mutual interests. So I never mind. I'm gonna go away now. You can you can do your thing. You weird dude. Okay, so do we go down and see about? I don't really want to take on elephants, but rhinos I definitely could see. And possibly some tigers. Maybe we can find a few tiger cubs. What the heck did you feed to tiger cubs to make them grow into the other version? The greater variant. I guess we will find out. There are rhinos. Oh, hello. Big lion thing. There we go. Come down here. Come down here. Let's see. Hyena versus tiger. Okay. Dodge dead. Oh, there is a rhino now as well. That is my level up. The follower level up. Okay, yeah. Damn, rhinos take a while to kill. Okay, nice enough, nice enough. Probably go faster with, um... With, with... Daggers. Uh, oh, feline pelts. Ew. Now I'm feeling like Zamorian outfit. Are you feeling like Zamorian Thief Alpha? I'm feeling like Zamorian Thief Alpha. Alpha. Oh, a little rhino. Ooh, are, are we picking up a couple little rhinos? If I give one of those to you, will you eat it? Yeah. Night time is falling and I can't see a damn thing. Let's set this oven on fire and then there will be light, okay? Yeah, the the hyena, hyena has actually surprising amount of durability. I was not expecting it to have this much durability. Even th although it is the greater version, but still. Now I'm really curious of, of how good is this... Um, Passive regeneration. You can actually see it moving, but that also includes the food it is eating, so it's a, essentially a double. Okay, there is the there is the double, huh? For a short moment as well. I should take the food off it and then compare. We will do that. Okay. Where did the other little rhino go? I think it's over there. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I got hit by a bleed as well. Well, I was nowhere near you. God dang you. Okay, now, now let's see how, how... How is that passive health regeneration treating us? Oh me. Oh, it is not bad. It really is not bad. That and food basically guarantees it will have full health every time we get to next combat. Hey, that looks pretty good so far. Hi. Hi, two of them. I have two of them. If I give them to you, will you eat them? These are like bloody heavy. Who would, who would think that the rhino babies are heavy? Okay, but most of all, I'm, I'm getting some thick hide out of here. We can, we can try a heavy armor. Okay, where are you? Can't see you right now. That, that's a dead rhino. I'm expecting there to be like a tiger hiding around. Yeah. Nice skin that. Well, I will skin it and steal steal the rhinos, uh, rhinos, tigers, food. Anything else? Can I find more little baby rhinos? Apparently not, but I can find a big, a big rhino. Two of them. Come, come at me. I want you one by one. Don't see a reason to try to take you on two at a, at a time. Dodged it. Wait for my stamina to get back. I may really want to invest on the uh, uh, on the grid to get to the, the stamina regen at least, because that seems pretty good. Because I do run out of stamina eventually. Eventually, you always run out of stamina, but you know you get you get what I mean. You get what I mean. Look at this. This is this is good. This is real good. Uh, some armor required rhino hides as well, but that, that, there is also a boss rhino here. But let's avoid that for the moment. Don't think I am ready to fight that. So I guess we put rhinos in the the. the. Then I have to look up what the heck do rhinos eat. <laughs> to, uh, in in the animal pen. Because I have no idea. I don't think I have ever had the rhinos in the animal pen. Don't think so. Anyway, let's swing away that way. Because I just had an idea. How about we go here? Because back here there are more rhinos. So we might be able to find another like little rhino. Because I would like to have like three of them at least in there then. If, if possible, have four. Oh, hello. Tiger! You go, go ambush tiger. Good work. You ambush a tiger. Whoa, what the? It, it is a sideways swinging tiger. Give me more of those feline belts. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give me feline belts. Are you carrying my feline? Yes, you are carrying my feline belts. I do like the pet from that point of view. Man, they do have a lot of inventory space to carry stuff for you. Oh, another one. Come over here. Jump into my shield. We're going, we're going away now. Okay, you do you, elephant. I don't care. I will come fight you another time. I wanna go see if there... If, if, wait, there isn't... 
NPC camp here? I don't remember that. I'll have to remember that for, for the future to, to try and get some get some stuff done. Okay, but first of all. First of all, let's go see if we can get another baby rhino. And how the places did you get down? Yeah, oh right, there was a ramp down here up down from here. Yeah, 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 there was a ramp down from here. Ah. And I think there was more tigers along along that thing there. there no. Give me baby rhino. Kill my water skin while I am in a deep enough water to do that. I was just remembering, wasn't there a way through from here? Yes, there was. Oh, obviously, we can go right right through here, I think. Maybe. Ah. Oh. Yes, indeed, you can go through here. There is a bunch of iron here as well. Hm. Cool. Actually, I wanna climb this. Would this would this have been a base location? Give me a sec. I'm gonna go up here. Would this have been a possible base location? Yeah, it definitely could. Oh this definitely this this could definitely work, yeah. It's not exactly very large, but if you build like, um, so that you go over the edges and build like a tower upwards, this could work. This could be nice for a base. There are no immediately hostile creatures right around it either. And you have iron, you have coal. Oh, I like it. I like it. That's a, that's a something, well, that is the immediately hostile creature. Okay, come here. I will get you, relieve you of your chitin. Um, I need uh, you need space for more thick hide. But yeah, I up there could really work. That could be a fun place to build. I can I can absolutely see that. Now let's go let's go find those rhinos. And then after after that we run home and then we go and find us some. Hmm. I guess after that we actually go finally go to the uh, what the go to the noxious spring. We go to the noxious spring. Yeah. Fine, give me the rhino hides. You have those instead. Shattered Springs, I think, is the exact name. But I, I just want to call it Noxious Spring because it's poisonous. <laughs> so we go there uh, to get brimstone because I am almost out of brimstone. Right, hi. I have to say, though, I am not saying no to all of this leather. And stick all of this into the just tip. You know, what, what am I call that thing? Tannery. And have a whole lot of thick leather and regular leather, and then we can move on to heavy armors as well. Move on to heavy armor as well. Am I almost? Oh, I'm almost forty-two. We can switch to a two-handed, two-handed sword at forty-two. Well, I like my two-handers. I really like my two-handers. Oh, it's a goddamn snake. 
Kill the, kill the snake for my volume. Okay, you get poisoned a bunch, but you have the health for it. I kind of don't. So I'm seeing big rhinos. There is a little rhino. Oh, that is awesome. Can I carry the little rhino? That's a good question. How about you carry those for me? Then I will probably be able to carry the little rhino. Okay, then I have three little rhinos. Aha! Is the level up and follow our level up. I am over encumbered. Well, that was to be expected. How about you carry some of this stuff for me? Can you carry that still? You can. Um, this stuff is heavy, but not as heavy as this. You know what? We will. We will leave that one rhino alone. Ah, let's slaughter that too. Then go home. We will carry what we can carry. The only only real downside, obviously, for with two handers is that you cannot fight in the dark with a two hander. You kind of need a one hander as well. So you can do tor a torch in a one-hander combat. I mean, I'm getting good amount of exotic flash. That's that's actually really decent. Um, yeah. Look at that. 48, 34. Mm. Uh, I think it's the feral flash that goes away. Aha! Now I need to figure out what the heck do you feed to baby baby rhinos. Well, we will find out. I will I will do a little digging between episodes and like find out what the heck do I feed to those damn things. Okay, anyway, um I'm gonna cut this walk home because all I'm gonna do is take this stuff home and, and probably make myself that Stygian Raider armor. And then I'm gonna run off to Shattered Springs. A oh, brief interlude before I head off to Noxus Springs. A Stygian Raider armor actually has more armor than the Hoyn of her armor. I didn't remember that being the case. Am I remembering that wrong? Somebody somebody let me know in the comments. Am I remembering that wrong? Because I thought Stygian Raider armor had the same armor values as all the other medium armors. And Hoyn of her armor had better armor than the rest of them. But had no bonuses. And that was the selling point of the Hoinofer armor. Had more armor, no bonuses. And also, I am really surprised that Stygian Raider armor has strength weapon damage. Because this used to give accuracy before, so I, I, I simply assumed it was agility. I think we are running around in Stygian Raider armor now. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's do that. Anyway, somebody... somebody <laughs> Somebody correct me in the comments. But anyway, I'm gonna head off to the Noxious Spring uh, with, while wearing this Stygian Raider armor. Now we are almost here. It's time to start getting Rimstall. First though, I'm going to eat one of these. I have the favor of Yogg. Let's see how long that lasts. And I have my two-handed sword. Hi there. Oh man, I love my two-handed swords. And again, my favorite weapon in the game is... Uh, I mean... Well, is to send enemies flying like... Like this was a Skyrim and I was a giant. 
Anyway, um, you, you know this if you have been around for a while. My favorite weapon in the game is a pike. I love the two-handed spear. Okay, I did not intend to ride it. <laughs> I did not know I would could be a good ride one. Yes, we are farming these things for crystals. Because we'll need need a, a certain amount of crystals and also need glass for uh, for some um, some items by level fifty five. Because I'm I'm slowly preparing for, for my level fifty five stuff. Well, some of it comes av uh, available at level fifty seven, but I always do it just less, you know. Yeah, as if everything, or, or try to do it as if, as if everything was available at level 55. I missed because it was still under the goddamn ground. No, fine. Come here. Goddamn thing. Okay. Fucking my hog, you know, with a pickaxe. That seems seems rather bad. Okay, what level are you by now? Level not nine. Wow. Okay, that thing has leveled really, really quickly. Yeah. Now, granted, this is this is a very good place to level up because if you look at the amount of XP I'm getting out of these things, it is ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous. This is a really, really nice place to level up. And get brimstone at the same uh, same time at the same time. Very good, very 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 good. And there is my level forty three, which is actually the uh, yeah that that means next time we next time next episode we are making a foray to the north for black eyes because I can do preservation boxes now. I can make preservation boxes now. I really want that temper right out of the uh, out of the wheel of pain. So I have a tier four armor to make my armors with. Now, granted, it's a temper right, which means that it uh, it only like what it does is is it increases durability. However, however, it's still a tier four. Um, no matter that it just makes things very durable. Because that tier 4 means that there is more, uh, a little bit more armor, uh, a little bit more all other stats. I at least assume they in still increase all the stats. Which I don't know for a fact, not right now. But I s assume so. We will find out just how much does a tier 4 um, do, the, do with this. Oh, poisoned my doggy. Hmm, fine. Give my doggy a level 10, will you? I can see what it gets for a for a park. And also, I kind of want to know um, how good its stats get when it hits level twenty. Like I'm really curious. Really, really curious. Yeah. You don't need that. You need this. That does such good damage. Okay, I get good amount of salt out of here, which is nice. Which is nice indeed. That, that means that 
there's less stone I need to toss into the grinder. So that's how you regularly get salt. You throw stone into the grinder. I can just melt all of my stone in the furnace, in the bricks. Because, what was it? 2500, as in 2500 hardened bricks at level 55? To make all the crafting stations. I think that was it. Um, okay, I think we we have enough brimstone for a bad. But look, look at this. I almost got two levels out of just fighting these few monsters here and getting all this brimstone. This is just this is such a such an amazing place to just come and level up. Can you still carry more brimstone? You can carry just a little. So 30 versus 35, haha. We're carrying those. I'm taking this stone home. Maybe. Or I, I take all this brimstone home, then I don't have to come here for a while. But I would li I, I like to come here to level up pets and stuff. Well, there is that. And I get to 44 from here. Huh. How close are you to level up? Well, halfway there. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother trying to get you a level up from here. Am I? No, not really. Just gonna, gonna get a little bit more brimstone and then be on my way. And be on my merry way. Out of here. Okay. I think we're done here. What I could do on the way back, we clear this entire area of brimstone, is check... Is there a... Um, is the one skull boss, the little, little guy? Who is occasionally over there? Is he there? Let's check that out. Because if he's there, we might, we might try to fight the one skull boss. Get some demon blood. Yeah, I need to figure out where I'm spending these points as well. Maybe more vitally to get another 100 health. Or 50% increased healing. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. Oh, if that works on the passive heal, passive healing as well. Yeah, that could be really good. It looks like the little guy is not here this time. Well, dang it. I was kind of hoping. Yeah, I was kind of hoping the little guy would be here. Eh. Fine, whatever. Alright. Let me let me w w find my way home and, and... I'll show you around my current base, uh, base just a little. I'll, I'll just check on this side as well to, to see if the, if the little guy is here. Oh, it is here. It is here. Awesome. No, I don't think we... Yeah, I don't think you bleed. Because none of your friends bleed. And I forgot you do a round, roundhouse kick. Back. Uh, how about you just eat some of this great sword? Oh, I, I meant to dodge that, but I saw it coming a little too late. Really? Really? What about that thing? Okay, this time I prepared for it, and this time you're very dead. Okay, little thing is dead. Awesome, what do you get? Demon blood, alright. We got demon blood out of it. That's cool. That's really cool. We got demon blood out of it. Okay, well, now I'm now I'm going off home. I'm going to finish the episode off by doing a little bit of building here. Because I want to set up the shrines I have just unlocked. Like one here and, and another one like somewhere over there. And also I had an idea for this particular 
a bit of land here. How about I turn this into like a two foundations high, essentially um, one about this. And this is where I put this sorcery stuff once we unlock it. So it's a little higher from the rest and I like put a guard on it or something if in case, just in case something bad comes out of it. That seems kind of reasonable. Anyway, um, it seems it seems like a funky idea. So let's let's see about that. So sort of the idea would be then to to do what? I don't want it to be. Yeah, I don't want it to be connected to anything else, except with stairs. So that that way it, it, it is um, it is essentially uh, like a separate little little thing. Remove that, and then uh, give me a set of stone brick stairs like here, and maybe here, something like that. Actually, let's put both in the same corner like so. And do we extend it some direction by one? In that direction by one? Like that. Alright, so so we put the, the, the uh sorcery benches up here once we once we unlock those, once we figure out how to get them. Okay, that will work. Now yeah, let's get the materials and put down put down a shrine. I think set shrine goes there. Where did I? Like, yeah, I must mark them in here, right? And those and those. And I can use this to actually see what the heck I'm building. Uh, crafting station. Simple car of set. Like right there. might actually be a little larger than I thought it would be. So let's, um, let's add at least one more layer right there. Do I need one more layer be the rear? I don't think I do, but it wouldn't necessarily hurt to have it like that. And I don't think, I don't think I need on that side. Okay. Let's Try this again. Yeah, like this. No, no, it definitely fits nicely. That one layer at the rear was probably too much. Fine. Well, just make it so. Uh, make sure that there is enough enough room on all sides for it. Mm. So, like, I think right here. Yeah, right there. I think it's. I think it's a little crooked. It's a little crooked, but who cares? It will work. We have now. We have a set shrine up as well, and th this thing where all the sorcery stuff is gonna happen. And then, then comes the question: How close can I long the Mitra Mitra shrine? It has to be like. Here. Oh, well, it can be like here. Okay, we can we can build it here. Doesn't have to be that far actually. So this is where we can pull that out too. I want it I want it somewhat in the back. Do I want it even further back? No, I think I think here will work. Just fine. Yep, here will work just fine. Did I... Did I forget my... Damn it, I forgot my pickaxe to clear out the stone. Hmm. Let's sort that out. Get some stone while we are at it. Mm, the wrong chest. Now let's, let's set up that thing as well while we are at it. You, you make way. 
Very good. So it's a four like that by four. Here we go. I think it needs to be five, right? Because that, those things are also five. And then we uh, plunk one here so I can see what the, what the heck I'm doing. And give me my Mitra Shrine. Right in the middle. Right there. A little crooked as well, but I will. Everything is a little crooked here. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I'll remove that and. Alright. Look at that. We have four shrines to four different deities around here. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Okay, now the plan is to to slowly um, change all of this to stone brick. Like all of it. But that's going to take a moment longer. I did, however, change all the staircases already. The whole staircase thing. And, in case you missed it, I put in braziers so now I can see see myself going up here when, when it is dark. And, and yes, I extended this thing a little further so that there... I can... I can uh, the plan is to put a, like a guard stand here in guard, like guard duty here. And maybe maybe a, like a chair and, and table for the guard. But yeah, a few, few braziers so I can see the way up. And... While we are here, let's uh, add a couple things which I have forgotten to add. These things stop me from falling off when I'm, you know, getting up here. This isn't actually necessary, is it? Probably not, no. Yeah, that's probably not necessary. Anyway. I think that's it for uh, for the day. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you folks next time with more Conan Exiles.